that's exactly what we'd like to do, and we'd like to do it in Ecuador. We'd like to do a, a university, a city, a research center city that helps perpetuate the direction of the Venus Project and show how it can be built sustainably so there's no pollution and show how we could house, feed, and clothe people and make it a center where we'd be getting information out to the rest of the world. We think Ecuador and the other Latin American countries, if they joined together, would be ideal for this, for building the first city. And we have always wanted to present to the, the presidents and the leaders of the Latin American country this new direction, this alternative direction to create a, a, a world without war, without hunger, without poverty. And we feel that the Latin American countries, if they joined together and advocated this direction and built the first city as a university city for all the Latin American countries, you could show the rest of the world a, a direction to work towards that would help unify the whole world in a, in a sustainable direction for humankind. Without the force of fascism, all nations that undergo social change uh, do not have a blueprint for solving problems. They just have ideals. They'd like to see human beings uh, no longer exploited. Well, how do you do that? They'd like to see governments aren't corrupt. How do you do that? The Venus Project works on what to do about problems, not just get up and criticize. If you get up and criticize a country, if you don't offer an alternative, you leave people in midair. Everybody would benefit from the Venus Project. Even the wealthiest of today would have a much higher standard of living under, under the auspices of the Venus Project, under a social design that incorporates everybody. Because everybody would be taught how to be creative and innovative, and everything that they do would enhance the lives of other people. I would hold meetings and lectures, and you may have one TV set where you can look up the Venus Project. You can look it up. We have books and videotapes. We have thousands of questions and answers. So you have to take one TV set and invite a lot of people there and watch it and then spread the, spread the ideas. If you don't spread the ideas, people don't know what to, what to select. They don't know what to do. You have to educate them first as to what has to be done. You can't just go to Ecuador and build a new city. People have to know what it's about and why they believe in it. Tell, what, what, what the Phoenix Project really is about is taking all the talk of religion and converting it to a way of life. Religion talks about things but has no blueprint for attaining anything. We have blueprints for solving most human problems. In other words, you don't have to die to get a, bed, a higher standard of living and go to heaven and get all the things you need. We can build a heaven on earth with all of our technology if people work together, but it can't be done within the monetary system. So we're advocating a totally different system that we ask that you look into, where all the earth's resources become the common heritage of all the Earth's people. Yes, we'd love to come down and speak to the Ecuadorian people and all the Latin American countries who would like to try and work on a new direction to help people. We'll bring videotapes and pictures of our proposals. We'll show you what cities could be like. We'll talk about the new schools, how to grow food for people without artificial coloring or genetic engineering, we don't have to do that. We can grow food, we can educate people so that they can learn how to make the world a better place.